Michael Goldman is with me. He is a founding partner at TM Capital. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. I want to start out by asking you, in your experience, are you finding that acquirers are definitely, they realize they need to have an acquisition strategy as part of their growth? Is that? Yeah, and it, it, one of the important things is that our clients, I think, are getting better at developing a strategy because historically, many companies were reactive. They saw opportunities come across their plate and those were the ones that they were pursuing as opposed to stepping back and saying, who are we as a company? What do we want to achieve? What can we do organically mm -hmm. to grow our business? What should we be doing strategically in terms of acquisitions to grow our business? So I think folks are stepping back more and we're trying to help our clients step back more and really mm -hmm. think things through because you end up with a much better hit rate when you do that and hopefully you end up with acquisitions that are really adding value. Okay, so can you just describe when you say you're trying to help your clients through, what exactly are you doing? Is it about putting the right team in place? Is it about making sure that they do their homework? What? It's, it's a little bit of all of the above. So one of the key things is the formation of the team. Typically when you start talking to a company about acquisitions, the CEO is setting the strategy and then you have a corporate development person and a chief financial officer, both of whom have a finance orientation to their work. And what's missing from that often are the operating people who really have knowledge of the underlying business and its markets and are able to then really bring that perspective in terms of what are the company's strengths and weaknesses and how could acquisitions help fill that in. So we encourage our clients to broaden the team, involve those operating personnel and as a result, bring a lot more perspective to the acquisitions. It makes things more complex to do that. You're dealing with a larger team, a broader set of opinions, and there are more roadblocks in getting deals done, but you're much more likely to get the right deals done if you pursue it that way. That was what I was gonna ask you. Does that mean that you're getting more deals done or having fewer failures? It may mean you're getting fewer deals done. Uh -huh. You know, in, in, in the end, the goal isn't to close a particular transaction if you're really taking a long-term view on behalf of a company. What you're really looking to do is build value. And some deals destroy value, either because you're overpaying for the transaction, it's not the right strategic fit, it could be really distracting um, if it's not the right opportunity. So, I, you know, in our business, we get paid for the deals that happen, and yet sometimes we add the most value by advising clients not to do a particular transaction, either because it's not the right fit or because the valuation wouldn't really create value for their company. And, what we try to do is build long-term relationships with clients where they will appreciate that kind of uh, longer-term advice. Any last words of wisdom for acquirers as they go into uh, the middle of the 20-teens, I guess? We yeah, think? it's it's still very competitive out there, you know, on the buy side. The strategic acquirers are sitting on large amounts of capital, need to put it to work. They're running up against financial sponsors who also have deep pockets and are trying to make things happen. and so. What we're really encouraging our clients to do is focus on their strengths, because if they're just a me too in a process, they're probably not going to win. And if they do win, they may wish they hadn't because of some of the factors we were talking about. So I think acquirers who really bring focus, I think that focus is more important than ever in a competitive environment. And um, hopefully clients are taking that to heart as they enter this acquisition environment. So doing your homework can pay off then? It, and really taking the time to do it at the beginning, which can be pretty frustrating from a client perspective. They like to see action, they like to see movement, but sometimes you do need to encourage them to step back, take their time, and get it right. And we've seen that work pretty well for a number of our clients. Michael Goldman of TM Capital, thank you so very much. Well, thank you. Okay. Was that...